Friends, I come to you this moment to share with you this message of today, which I believe by God's grace is going to be a blessing to you. As from the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 26, where we are going to study about the second coming of Jesus Christ by his own words. And what Jesus Christ said, the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse uh, 26, he said, Men's heart failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the power of heaven of heaven shall be shaken. Jesus Christ uh, was God, okay, and he's God. But also when he was doing his ministry here, he had to play a part like a prophet. That's why Moses gave the promise that God is going to lie among you, the prophet like me. Listen unto him, okay. So Jesus Christ was working like a prophet when he was here on earth, but now he's working not like a prophet, a prophet, but he's working like a, a priest. And actually, he's our high priest. We know that from the book of Hebrew. Be assured of that. But what, we, what Jesus was t- telling here is what the prophet was supposed to tell those people of those times. Because before the events happening to those Israelites, the prophet had to tell them what was going to happen. Like the, uh, Jeremiah the prophet, uh, we call him the crying prophet, who passed through the hard times. He had to tell them what was to happen. Those who went against those warnings, they received what they deserved. When he told them, don't go to Egypt, and then they chose to go to Egypt, but uh, he had told them already that you have to go to Babylon, there you will be safe. But some say, no, we don't want to go there. We just want to go where we, th- we think we are safe. So that's what happened. And many of them died because they not hearken the voice of the prophet. And because Jesus Christ is coming with the same office, though it's higher. Uh, that's why he said, and I was telling those Jews that uh, those people in Nineveh repented because of the of the, of the words of John the prophet, but here there is a greater than that prophet. And the same to John the Baptist. Jesus was above all. And so we give him the office of prophet, but he's above the office of prophet because he's God himself. And so what the prophet Jesus, what Jesus Christ of God saw prophetically was what was to happen. And the statement that Jesus Christ said that heavens and earth may pass, but not my words. And so anything that Jesus Christ himself said, nobody can put it aside. Moses spoke some of the words and Jesus came and said, well, Moses, I, I told you for this reason, but now I just say, put away those words of Moses and now I say this. And so because he was God, he knew what he spoke. He was the word itself. Okay? And what we can say is we need to understand that Jesus Christ's promise of what is going to happen is sure. And he said, men's heart, failing them for the fear, for looking at those things which are coming on earth. Now we are living for at least for peace at this moment. But the time is going to come when everyone his heart will be melting, or her heart will be melting because of things which will be happening and for which are to happen. Those people in those countries where there are wars and conflicts, they may be experiencing what the Bible says. But there are some people who are in just peaceful nations where there's no troubles, if there are troubles, just a few, economy is balancing, and all things are just okay. But friends, we need to understand that if the world says this, we need to get prepared for this. But how do I get prepared for this? Uh, men's fear and this, uh, that this is going to happen, who will be able to stand and do this, and men's heart will be melting for fear, what is to happen. So what can I do? Uh, with respect to these words, we need to have faith. This is what overcomes the world, even our faith. So when we have the faith that gives us to overcome, that's why I said, Jesus Christ said, when the Son of Man comes, will we find faith on earth? What was the greatest ingredient there at the end of the time? Faith. Uh, but what is faith? 
trusting. Faith is just a trusting in God. When you trust in God, and that is faith. So when you don't trust in God, that is, that's, you cannot say, I have faith if I don't trust God. You trust the word of God, that what it says, that's what will happen. But also you trust that God is going to take care of you in any circumstances. But you, what you have to do is to take God at his word. Okay? And uh, for example, the Bible says you do not take a bribe. But you're in a condition where to solve issues, you have to give a little amount of money, like uh, that of, of bribes, so that you can be safe. And then uh, you, you see that God says I should not take or give, but I think if I do this, it's going to be an easy task. My friend, it's going to be a trouble. Okay, So trusting God that I have to obey his, his word, or God tells you to do something. It might not be in the Bible, but he has told you to, to do something, and you have, uh, have a genuine relationship with him. And so what you need to do is to trust him. We are in the time where it's a time for us to plant our faith. It's time for us to prepare for what is going to come. We don't need to prepare when it starts. Like you're, you're seeing troubles happening there. Uh, the same moment is when you want to build your faith. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit will help us to build the faith in the time of peace. We don't need to build our faith in the time of, of, of chaos. Let us build our foundation. Because the time is going to come when you won't have enough time even to take your Bible and study. Okay? So we need to, when we have peace, when we have uh, financial freedom, at least when you have little work to do, let us invest in our spiritual nature. And that will help us to pass through the time of trouble. Let us know God's voice. Because the moment is going to come when there will be many voices. And if you are not to use it to God's voice, it will be difficult for you to distinguish an enemy's voice and God's voice. That's very important. Just a, a free suggestion and advice that you can take on when you are leaving this moment. And so thank you because you have paid your time to listen to this message. May God bless you as you prepare yourself to build your faith on God's word, seeking his presence, his love, his mercy, his grace, through prayer and study. Those are basic things. Some of the things may not be the same, not be like how you want them to be, but still you have to put your faith on him, okay? And that is very important. So may God bless you. Have a good day. Amen.